Okay. I present now. All right. Uh, the first question, eh? uh, figure 4.6.5, eh? follow the logic. Okay. Uh, we have uh, some vertices. Kita ada uh, A, uh, B, C, D, E, Z, and uh, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kita ada berapa uh, pas ni? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay, dia cakap origin, shortest path from apa? Uh, from A to Z. Okay. So, A tu kita assign sebagai kosong. To force it uh, to be the origin. The otherwise, it will be uh, infinite. Eh? Okay. Okay, this is quite trivial because we want to force uh, the origin to be ni. Uh, so the minimum between the uh, weight right now A should be zero. So zero ni A kita bawa ke sebelah. Okay. Now looking at the adjacent uh, from A, we update the distance between from A. Uh, zero from A. Okay, ni zero A. Eh. So B ni kita tengok berapakah jarak dia daripada origin is 2A. Kita tulis 2A for C, 3A. Okay, D, E, Z is not adjacent to A. Therefore, we put it still as in finite. Very simple. Okay, adjacent kepada yang dah dipilih oleh warna merah ini. Okay, we lock it. The visited nodes, we call. Okay. When we are already at this point, to generate the column, we look at the adjacent vertices. We find the minimum distance from that particular adjacent vertices. A. Sebab tu di dewe A, A. Okay. When we all, you complete this part, between the non-check, yang ni yang dah check, merah ni dah check. Okay. Between the non-check vertices, ada lima non-check ni. 2A, 3A, infinite, infinite, infinite. Which one is the smallest? Of course, 2A. For every iteration, we choose one node at a time. Okay, so 0, 2A is chosen. Okay, merah, bawa ke sini. Okay, so bayangkan, saya lukis kat sini eh. Ni saya uh, tambah dengan visual aid eh. A very quick draw at eh, sini. Okay. Uh, A sekarang ni dah pilih. This is the shortest one. So we at the third, second iteration ni. Okay, A, B. Kita dah pilih. To travel to B from A is the shortest. That's the idea first. Eh? Ni tak susah lagi. Ya susahnya mungkin lepas ni. Eh? Okay. Now, to, we need to update this with still the shortest distance from the adjacent check vertices. Sekarang ni A dah di check. B dah di check. Kat sini. Kita tanda B tu. You need to update the remaining uh, column for uh, column 3 ni the distance, the shortest distance for the adjacent vertices to A and uh, from uh, to adjacent vertices to A and B. So you can tengok C sebab dia adjacent to A, B dah buka ruang kepada D and also E. Okay, so C. The shortest distance still 3A. You cannot travel from B yet. Okay. So from E to E. Sekarang ni E. Uh, D lah dulu, D dulu, D. Okay. What is the shortest distance from B? From the adjacent eh? Dia tak boleh travel daripada E. Dia mesti daripada B atau A sahaja. Tapi the shortest distance from uh, uh, right now is from B. So it will be 7B. 
Saya tulis distance juga lah tak nampak. Dua, lima, dua, satu, dua, empat, lima, tiga. Okey. Jangan tengok, uh, don't look observely, oh you tengok, oh pendek daripada E, you tulis tulis E kat situ. No, it must be the shortest distance from the adjacent chosen vertex. Uh, at the time, at the third iteration. Sekarang ni, E pula, the shortest distance from the chosen vertices is B, which is for B. Dia tak boleh daripada A. And lastly, Z. Bilek. Tak ada. From the unchosen vertices, right now, the shortest will be 3A. Okay. Saya buka kepada soalan sebelum saya proceed. Bagi faham dulu yang ni. Okay, tak ada. Okay, if I already chosen for the third iteration from the unchecked node is 3A, uh, 3A ni lah, from uh, for C. So, C from 3A is chosen. The vertex of C is chosen. Then we bring the chosen vertex A, B, C here. Ni yang tengah berlaku sekarang ni ada iteration for We need to update the distance for the unchosen vertex right now is D, E, Z Okay For the chosen vertices of the correct color right now yang saya conteng sekarang ni Haa tengok ni We need to update the distance of D and E Which is the shortest at the time. So if it, D comes from B, it will still be 7B. Whereas E is still 4B. Nampak macam tak sam, uh, tak, tak ada perubahan. Tak apa. Sebab we choose one node at a, point, uh, at a time. Z pula masih tidak adjacent kepada yang merah sekarang ni kita letak infinite. This is iteration four. Soalan buka. Ah, uh, sir, kalau yeah. yang E tu dia bukan jadi 8 C ya. Kita pula ni iteration ke muka tu yang E bukan jadi 8 C ya. Okay, soalan yang bagus. Ad Patutnya 8C ke? Okey. Kepada yang bertanya tu, saya tak tengok nama. E ni, sekarang ni, soalan beliau ialah patutnya bukan 8C ke? Okey, I explain balik. You kena update dengan jarak yang the shortest distance from the adjacent chosen vertices ni. Sekarang kita dah choose C. Kita juga choose B. E from B or E from C is the shortest. Kita tengok daripada 2 tambah 2 4B atau 3 tambah 5. So ada dua pilihan 4B atau 8C. Kita kena pilih yang lebih pendek. Bukannya dia tengok dia sebelah mana dia sebelah technically dia sebelah C dan dia sebelah B juga so you kena pilih antara 4B and also 8C you need to choose the least one so masih 4B tiada perubahan menjadi 8C balik tak boleh dia sepatutnya makin kecil makin kecil
Yang tanya tadi tu okey kan? Ya, yeah, sir. Thank you. Ha, clear eh? Kita yeah. tak boleh. Kita kena consider semua jarak yang dia adjacent tapi kita pilih yang pendek. Ha. Okay. Right now, the unchosen vertices is 7B, uh, sorry, the unchosen one right now uh, between uh, 7B, 4B and also infinite, which one is the shortest will be 4B yang daripada untuk vertices C. So, yang mana? Yang ni, saya colorkan eh. We choose vertex E right now. Now, we add the iteration number 5. We, we bring the, uh, A, we bring B, which is already chosen. C is already chosen. Uh, D belum chosen lagi. Uh, e sudah chosen. B. Okay. Now, at the fifth iteration right now, from the red color uh, vertices that I already marked here, we are left with D and Z. What is the shortest distance to travel to D, Denmark, from the chosen vertices of B and E? Kat sini yang akan berlaku mungkin perubahan. Kita tengok. Okay. Initially, to travel from D is 7B. Tengok ni, 7B. Okay, however after E is chosen, this 7B has been updated. So updated is that the distance, uh, the shorter distance will be from E. So right now, E ialah 4, B, tambah 1, E will be 5, E. And Z, we only have one choice from E right now because D is not chosen yet. E is 4 plus 4. It will be 8E. Patut bagi besar. Alright. Now we already... Uh, 5E and 8E here. Daripada dua ni kita pilih yang lebih paling pendek ialah 5E. We choose vertex D which comes from E. Mana dia? Saya update sini. Now, for the last iteration 6, we bring A, B, C dah pilih 3A, D dah pilih 5E, E dah pilih 4B, Z. Is there any changes? Does we need to travel from 8E or from D? Travel from D. It will be 7 from D. Because 5 plus 2, it will be updated here, thank you, to 7D. Because we only have uh, left with only one uh, unchosen vertex, so 7D will be the final uh, betul jalan dia. Okay. Alright. Now, we already uh, finished uh, choosing all the vertex here, how to interpret this table? First of all, we already arrived at Z. Kita baca Z ni, uh, tengok ni, it comes from where? It comes from D. D pula datang dari mana? You tengok column D, it comes from E.
When it comes from E, E datang dari mana? B. 4B. And B, it comes from A. So the uh, shortest path according to the jigstra is A, B, E, D, and Z. And the distance is given as seven. Seven meters. Seven D. So saya tengok balik sekejap jawapan kawan kamu dalam WhatsApp sekarang. Saya tengok balik dalam plan eh. Mana dia MS? Uh, Siti Maisara betul? Cuma dia kurang satu pas. Nampak? Saya tak kata uh, Siti Maisara salah per se. Tapi uh, dia ada satu iteration yang sama ni saya rasa dia tidak tulis balik. Uh, tiga dengan empat ni dia choose sekaligus. Bahaya sedikit. Sebab uh, logik uh, jikstra dia one at a time. Okay? Uh, tapi jawapan akhir dia betul. Uh, A, B, E, D, Z. Okay? Saya check empat poin enam poin lima dulu. Okay, Jia Jin yang saya rasa dia ter, uh, tersilap cuba dekat tengok uh, pas nombor tiga. Pas nombor tiga, if you see Jia Jin, uh, from 2A, uh, pas number 2, 3A, you update pergi jadi infinite. Uh, dekat pas nombor tiga. Dengar eh Jia Jin, can you feedback to me right now? Yes sir. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Uh, if, if you look there, at your third iteration, from TA, you jadi infinite balik. Uh, that's uh, really not true because you need to uh, minimize, minimize, minimize. Dia jadi lagi kecil, lagi kecil. Okay? So yang tu kena, yang ni yang kena clear, kena buat balik. Okay? Okay. Alright, good. Uh, now I look at, uh, siapa ni? Eh? Akram pada jawapan ke? Sekejap, mana ni? Tak. Uh, Jajin, okay. Uh, Akram. Akram ni soalan mana ni? Uh, ni, 4.65. Okay, Akram, uh, he has six passes. Uh, correct? At certain point, yeah. 7B, 7B. Uh, pas nombor empat salah sikit. Sikit lah. Apa ni? Okay, 5E, 4B, 7B. 0.2A, 3, 5E, 4B, 7D. Okay. Ha, dia, dia apa tu, dia, dia update cepat dekat pas nombor 4 ni. Sini. Akram dia tak update cepat. Tapi tak ada masalah kot. Yang ni selalunya saya bagi jugalah. Hmm. Tapi at the end dia tukar kepada 5E. But still uh, the, the last part dia betul lah. At your uh, fourth pass, you update 5E tu tak awal. Hmm, but that's fine with me, sikit. Uh, kalau saya, kalau korang perasan dekat lap, uh, pas nombor lima ni pun dia update awal. Oh, uh, dia terawal sikit. Uh, you you terawal. Tapi uh, logic you betul lah, to say. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you sir. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Alright. Uh, let me iterate eh. This is the logic of uh, Jistra. Okay, uh, there are plenty of um, algorithm out there for the shortest path. Uh, I think I still need to mention this. Uh, I mentioned it in the video uh, asked by Tengman, right? Uh, regarding uh, the exact solution and also the sub-optimal solution. Okay, uh, kena jelaskan kat sini supaya uh, semua boleh clear. This is a shortest path problem. Huh? And shortest path problem has many solution. One of the eight is what I call it as a brute force. Dalam kelas lepas saya dah beritahu. Uh, brute force, uh, macam Madam Yohani, Dr. Yohani, Dr. Syam, dia suka guna uh, term by finding all path. Ah, uh, dia, dia sama je maksud dia. Tapi nama lain eh. Consider all possible path which are plenty in this case. Calculate the distance for all path and then find the shortest one. This is what I call as a brute force. 
Okay, this will be the best possible solution with a, which compromise time. Masalah dia masa. Okay. And the second that you learn is Jigstra. Uh, which are more uh, faster than uh, brute force obviously because it does not consider every path. But it might compromise time. Hey, so it might compromise the accuracy of the, uh, the, the solution. And this is only for the small number of attacks. We can the num. And I also mentioned in the real world application, there are thousands or even millions of nodes which enforce us not to use the brute force we go for. Okay, so stick to the things that we covered. Saya tak ada uh, uh, keperluan untuk go beyond your uh, syllabus. I can actually. Saya mengajar di UUM dulu. We learn about the meta heuristics. Huh? We also learn greedy. We also learn heuristics. And we also learn meta heuristics. Which I don't think I need to mention to you guys. Because this is not covered in syllabus. But of course, if you want to read can read more. I also give what you should read. Okay. If you want to, just make this simple. I can make it complicated, but I don't need to. For what? Semalam baru saya dapat task baru. Uh, for your final exam question, I, I need to change it. Because uh, there's, a, uh, there's a reason. So uh, yesterday I need to spend my whole day to create back your question. Kita nak bagi mudah kepada student tapi entahlah. Yeah. Alright. Keep it simple, keep it direct. Okay. It's not that complex. Listen carefully to the, uh, uh, the logic. I try to present it as the simplest way as possible. Okay, dalam nota internet ke reference lain dalam buku uh, Rosen pun sama juga dia logic algorithm Jigstra ni dia explain dia dalam bentuk pseudo code. You can find it but I explain it one at a time step by step in my instruction so that you can be clear. So kalau tak boleh dengar uh, tak boleh apa tangkap balik apa yang saya cakap tak apa Tengok balik video lecture lepas dan video hari ini step by step saya. Okay, pause the video every time. Okay, ada soalan berbangkit? Dia kena training eh. Lagi besar problem ni lagi lagi pening nanti. Ha, biar, biar kita yang kecil tu kita boleh dulu. Okay, soalan? Sir. Ya. Yeah. Nak jawapan yang untuk 4.6.5. Bagi saya buat balik dulu. Boleh? Saya bagi, uh, saya buat lepas ni. Uh, okay. Uh, nanti saya share. Alright. Uh, for the coloring part, okay, you can skip this. Planar graph and the four color theorem, you can skip. Because I already remove it from the previous uh, syllabus. Macam saya cakap, banyak. Saya nak bagi mudah student. Ni banyak. You can read this as your additional knowledge. Because I will not ask this. Okay, uh, but in short, a graph coloring represents the number of minimum color, it's still an optimization problem, the minimum color such that every adjacent with pieces does not have the same color. Uh, ni saya cerita untuk pengetahuan tambahan saja, tak perlu uh, nak terlalu stress. Uh, kita, kita main-main. Imagine uh, there's a map. Uh, you can also try this at a uh, real world map. Eh? Map yang dunia yang sedia ada. Map Malaysia pun boleh kalau nak kecil. Uh, okay. Katakan ni map negara Uganda. Okay. Saya pun tak tahu uh, geografi sangat eh. Tak apa. Okay. Suppose ah, dalam dalam peta dunia, kita nak color. We we want to color. Seriously, we want to color this. And I want to color A and red color. 
Okay, the condition is very simple. The adjacent country, you cannot have the same color. So, B tak boleh merah, C tak boleh merah, D bersebelahan dengan A tak boleh merah, E tak boleh merah. Okay, so saya warnakan warna lain lah kata. Saya ambil biru. B, warna biru. Okay, when B is already blue color, C cannot be red color, cannot be blue color. Dia kena warna lain. Warna hijau. Okay, how about B? Can it be blue color, uh, green color? Or red color, tak boleh. Sebab dia adjacent to B, it adjacent to C and it adjacent to A. You need to choose another color. Let's say, um, orange. Saya warnakanlah orange. Now we have four color. Ingat, kita nak minimum color. E, kita boleh warnakan sebagai apa? Biru. Kita boleh biru, hijau. kita boleh hijau. Kita tak perlu tambah color, right? Uh, sebab dia nak adjacent. Thank you for the response. It can be blue. Boleh? Uh, dia tak perlu tambah color lain. Asalkan dia tak adjacent. E is not adjacent to B, it's not adjacent to C. So you can uh, color it as a blue or also uh, or green. Okay, F. Kita tak boleh blue. Uh, kita boleh kita boleh merah boleh, hijau, merah boleh. boleh. hijau pun boleh. Ha, hijau pun boleh. Saya ambil lah hijau. Ha, G lagi lah best. Kita ambil merah. So you can uh, play around with this but uh, some computer scientist has already proven this thing with millions of country. Uh, this is the only proof that I heard is that uh, the proving done is not by mathematical proving, it's done by computational punya algorithm. So, four color theorem has been produced by the computer scientists, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It's not by mathematical proving. It's, it's shown that it cannot be more than four. But I, I do realize that some of you might read there is also a five color theorem. Itu untuk bentuk geometri yang lain. Okay. Ini untuk pengetahuan saja dan seronok-seronok. Okay. The number of color is the chromatic, eh? the minimum color. So application of coloring is actually quite plenty. Some of it is the scheduling. Uh, for your information, uh, di UUM dan UMP ada pakar timetable. <laughs> uh, pakar timetable how to optimize the timetable so that it will uh, no there will be no clash uh, or the, the clash between the exams is quite limit, minimal. Uh, macam contoh student ada ambil banyak subjek, dia selalu clash. Saya pernah jumpa. Tapi kita buat jadual tu cuba kurangkan clash tersebut. Okay. Alright. So hari ini kita masuk 3. 3 tidak susah mana. Tapi mesti kena masuk juga hari ini eh. So uh, graph theory sudah have uh, technically chapter 4 graph uh, graph the fundamental graph has already finished. 3 is just a sub graph. Tapi dia nama chapter lain lah. Orang yang susun ni. Saya pun susun lain lah. Okay. I already mentioned that 3 is a subgraph. Eh? What is 3? The definition is given that it is an undirected graph Three, eh? It's a graph but the component is that it is undirected and also the more important uh, component is that there is no circuit or no simple circuit. If you found a graph to have a circuit, be it small circuit, it is still not a tree.
Alright. So, 5.1.1 yang mana satu adalah 3, mana satu adalah tidak. Cuba kamu tengok. Eh? 5.14 kita tengok secara seimbas lalu. Eh? Saya, 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 saya bagi tahu student, is there a, a circuit? Kalau ada circuit, terus dia bukan free. So 5.1.4, ada circuit atau tidak? Ada. Ada, ada kan? Banyak kan? Hmm. A, E, B, D. Oh tak adalah banyak sangat. Tapi dia Betul. ada circuit. <laughs> There is a circuit. One of it is that I found this to be A, E, uh, B, B and back to A. So the existence of the circuit terus dia not free yeah? Okay, um, the second one, 5.1.5, it is a 3, right? 5.1.6, 3, and the last one is also 3. Very simple. No circuit. Then it is a 3. Okay. Some fundamentals of the terms lah, terms. Jadi seronok. Nak ajar dari segi family tree. We have our parent and then the parent we have children. Dalam children kita ada siblings. So parent, children. This is like a family tree right? Yes. Memang yeah. family tree. Okay, so just uh, draw back here. Kamu boleh tengok juga nota kat situ. So parent, kalau dia root. Parent is also, is a root. Dia ada beza root dengan uh, root asalan. Okay. B, C, D, E, F. Ini baca sajalah. Ini tidaklah kompleks mana. Saya tak perlu nak tekankan sangat kat sini. Okay. Just to highlight uh, the number of levels. Okay. Uh, for the terms of three, uh, the, the level starts from zero. From the root eh? Jangan kira-kira daripada bawah, kita kira daripada root This is the root and this is level 0 Level 1 and level 2 and level 3 So this 3 has 3 levels And the root, the outmost root is A Jangan salah faham pula term root ni, root ni maksudnya asal dia B pun adalah root kepada C. C juga adalah root kepada D and also root kepada E. Root tu apa tu? Bahasa akar ya akar. Ha, root itu root lah. Hmm. A is the parent for B. B is a parent for C and C is a parent for both B and E. Vice versa, D and E is the children of C. C is the children of B and B is the children of A. D and E are siblings. Orang dah pandai lah yang ni tak payah nak deep sangat. Okay. This is also the other terminologies for trees. Ancestor, descendant. Ancestor, apa yang berada di atas. Eh? Kita yang lebih tua. Descendant pula, keturunan bawah dia. When we have root, seronok lah ni. Ada root, ada leaf. Ada daun. <laughs> so, what is leaf? It's a vertex with no children. It means at the end here. This is the leaf. 
Tapi kadang-kadang saya tengok menarik pula Kenapa root di atas dalam pokok sebenar root ke bawah So dia represent trees dalam graf ni terbalik tau Leaf dekat bawah Maksudnya daun di atas kan Saya masukkan ni pokok yang sebenar Okay, the real tree The leaf is up at the top and the root is at the bottom but In the terms of graph theory, the tree is, uh, the, is being put in the inverted way yeah? Okay Alright, ambil masa untuk uh, tengok sekejap soalan ni Saya nak kamu jawab sendiri Agak mudah, saya besarkan sedikit Saya nak kamu cari apakah uh, jawapan kepada soalan-soalan berikut Dalam masa dua ke tiga minit Ya, kalau yang ancestor ke keturunan atas je Semua keturunan atas oh. Parent satu level di atas sahaja Dia bukan yang atas dia sahajalah Maksudnya bukan. dia kena yang atuk-atuk semua tu kena agak lah Atuk, bapa, atuk, moyang Alright, semua sekali Alah, saya tulis kedekut sangat lah peluang Sorry ya, saya tulis balik Soalan macam ni saya boleh tanya uh, untuk kuis kamu lah Nanti saya akan bagi tahu bila saya carang untuk adakan kuis Oh internal vertices ha? Saya tak cakap secara jelas Internal vertices, vertices yang ada anak Okay, vertices that have children Banyak lah ha? find the internal vertices Okay, F Internal vertices Okay One more minute eh Okay, uh, saya akan cuba jawab nak menjimatkan masa Saya cuba jawab jika saya salah betulkan atau kita boleh cross check sama-sama lah Okay, find the parent of C and H The parent of C is B Jawapan saya dalam warna biru Ancestor of C The children of D and E Children of D and E D are the lower children H, I, E G. Yeah, 
descendant of C and E. C and E, descendant of C is E J J. Siblings of F. E G. Internal vertices banyak. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Oh, tak banyak lah. Cukup lah. A, B, C, D, E. Whereas the leaf, lastly is the leaf. Huh? Leaf is the vertices that don't have a children. Internal vertices is the vertices that have children. So leaf hanyalah um, J Sir Ya ya, boleh cakap? Descendant of C Descendant of C, ya? Yeah. Boleh cakap? Uh, Saya salah ke? E, F, G, J ke? Okay uh, Kawan, kamu bertanya uh, Descendant of C, adakah uh, Bukannya E, F, G, J Alright, jom kita tengok balik definition of descendant eh Supaya kita lebih clear eh What is the difference between the descendant and ancestor that is very clear cut However, uh, the question posted by your friend here Kenapa saya jawab EJ, adakah EFGJ, okay Descendant of vertices that have V as an ancestor Okay, ancestor pula ialah vertices in the path from the root to this vertex Okay. Kejap eh. Hmm. Okay. So, ah, ni jawapan saya nak menjelaskan. Dia mesti berada pada path yang sama. Okay. Kalau tengok C ni eh. Saya nak kena lukis balik sekejap. Okay. Yang tanya saya tadi tu siapa? Kimi, Kimi. Okay, Kimi. Alright. Cuba Kimi tengok eh. Descendant of C. Bawah dia. Dia mesti E. Oh, iyalah. Betul lah. Saya fikir ancestor. Thank you, Kimi. Ah, Kimi betul. Kimi betul. So, saya kena update E. Uh, J. F dan G. Thank you, Kimi. Hmm. Saya ter terconfuse dengan, uh, saya tertukar dengan ancestor. Ancestor dia mesti pada anak yang sama Pada path yang sama Tetapi descendant semua bawah dia Okay Ni senang je Sekarang pukul sebelas empat minit Saya nak kamu uh, rehat sekejap Dalam lima minit sebelum kita sambung untuk uh, Three traversal, okay Rehat lima minit sekejap um, it's very good that uh, you we recall back this track. Uh, saya kalau-kalau pergi tree pun, tapi this track tak faham bahaya. Eh? This track kena pergi faham. Okay, by the way, listen. Okay, dia ada yang letak chat ya. Eh? Oh, Akram. Akram letak. Okay. Sekejap saya check balik. Saya tak tengok dia pun akan macam tu. Children DHI DJ. For C. Haa. Oh. Akram bagi tahu Yang saya silap. Tak masukkan. Okay. For your quiz eh. Uh, I want your, your uh, response. Kita uh, lari sekejap daripada content. Uh, Jumat ni ada bridging lagi tak? Kepada yang ambil bridging, Jumat ni ada bridging lagi? Tak ada Habislah kan? Betul eh? Ke korang tak pasti ni? Kepada yang ambil bridging, Jumat ni dah tak ada dah kan? Tak ada, tak ada Tak ada dah Haa tak ada dah, okay Okay, memandangkan bridging tak ada Jumat ni 
saya cadang nak buat kuis pendek waktu hari Jumaat untuk kedua-dua topik uh, graf dengan tri boleh? boleh eh? nanti saya akan announce masa uh, saya juga nak tanya update Uh, saya difahamkan uh, ada rakan kamu yang uh, banjir hari tu tetapi dia tak beritahu dalam grup tak apalah dia kita tak pesan saya rumah dah okey ke? siapa hari tu kan? Eh? dalam grup data analitik saya Maishuhara eh? Maishuhara? betul ke? oh Maishuhara Tidur ni. Ya doktor. Rumah awak berhenti ke hari tu? Haa. Uh -uh. Sungai Isyap? Um, dah surut dah. Masuk rumah ke? Haa uh -uh, masuk rumah. Berapa tinggi boleh saya tahu? Haa uh, separuh rumah. Ya Allah. Oh. Awak sungai Isyap yang dekat TM, uh, TMG tu ke? Eh? Uh, apa? Yang dekat TMG sana ke atau yang belah Mac di sana. Busy ke? Tak apa tau. Dekat dalam bukit set. Ha, pahat you kat mana? Yang yang rumah awak tu bahagian mana? Situ tinggi yang belah dalam sikit. Belah dalam sikit yang dekat sekolah tu eh? Sekolah apa yang kecil tu? Uh, ya yeah, betul. Dia kat arah tempatan badak kan? Haa Pemantan bandar banjir juga kan? Um, tak pasti lah dia naik asalnya tapi tak semua Rumah awak tinggi mana Pak? Saya atas bergelali sikit, sekaki lah Sekaki, oh kira Mai Syuhara separuh rumah Masya Allah Tahu ni teruk eh, kita orang pun dalam langkah berjaga-jaga Tapi saya rasa semua hampir selamat dah uh, Maksud saya makin-makin surut dah lah Kita doakan tak hujan dah lah lepas ni ni saya lagi gelak lah ni ok kepada rakan-rakan uh, kita yang mengalami musibah kita doakan supaya diorang dipermudahkan ha. nasib baik tak buat assessment saya buat assessment nanti naik orang juga sebab uh, lecturer matematik ada yang kata nak buat apa tu cuci-cuci rumah saya rasa dah terlambat lah saya rasa <laughs> dia nak buat dah lah kita dah PKP Aduh stres TV Okay saya uh, minum air kejap nanti saya datang balik eh uh, Dua minit saya datang
Okay, I'm back. Rupanya PM tengah buat announcement. <laughs> Lagi. Kali ke-18 saya tu. Emergency declaration. Sampai Ogos. Alright, kita sambung kan? Eh? Okay, uh, this one is only uh, terminologies lagi banyak membaca kita tak mengira lagi emeriti and full emeriti eh so is emeriti is a if the tree uh, for every vertex it does not have more than m children kalau full has exactly m children so katakan kita start dengan two eritri okay to a retrieve um, all the tags has no more than two children okay so contohnya ini adalah to a retrieve Okay, kita check untuk setiap children it does not have more sorry does not have more than two as simple as that but as contrast to that kalau full two a re three the vertex must have exactly two children So for the top one, it's not a full to a retrieve. Full to a retrieve, dia mesti untuk setiap vertex, dia ada dua children. So mesti ada yang tertanya, yang ni perlu ada children ke? Tak semestinya. Dia maksudnya kat sini, uh, full to a retrieve, maksudnya Children mesti ada dua. Tak boleh kurang. Dia tak kata mesti ada children. For the exception is given to the leaf. Leaf not necessary, does not necessarily have a children. But if it has a children, it must be exactly two. Ha? Ini simple je. Tak banyak yang boleh kita tanya kat sini. Ini tak payah hafal. Ini just formula saja. Uh, ah, so. Ya, yeah. macam cakap. Boleh? Kalau so, Tuk Eri tu kan ha. daripada root kan ada dua anak dia yang daripada dua daripada apa yang Tuk Eri tu tak tengok daripada root eh? Tuk Eri dia tengok kepada root jugalah Okay. Tapi kalau ada root kan dia dah ada dua anak yang tu. Betul. Alright. Maksud Eri ialah untuk children. Kita jangan tengok root. Ha, jangan tengok root. Dia cakap kalau untuk root, dia mesti ada anak. Okay, dia mesti ada children. And the children must not be more than M. Kalau two eri. Kalau eri je. Kalau eri saja tak ada full eri. Eri saja The number of children cannot be more than M. Itu maksud dia. Tak perlu tengok kepada root sangat. Konsep dia, dia ada children. Dalam children, dia mesti ada parent dia. Tapi dia, kita tak perlu tengok kepada parent Konsep re, children tak boleh lebih daripada M Alright, alright. Thank you sir Kalau full Children lah. Kita kita uh, cuma tengok kepada definition dia uh, Kalau full pula The number of children must be exactly M Dia tak boleh kurang, dia tak boleh lebih uh, Dia tak ada kena-mengena sangat dengan uh, parent dan dia pun tak perlu fokus sangat kepada leaf sebab itu bukan yang konsep yang kita nak tengok kat situ kita gunakan konsep pendekatan children ha, children uh, lebih atau sama itu saja ha, jangan libatkan dengan uh, uh, root atau parent kat sini ha, dia bahaya nanti kita uh, lagi pening Alright, thank you sir. Suka juga saya guna kat sini. Uh, saya guna, suka juga. Uh, bagus juga soalan tu sebenarnya. Mungkin saya akan shape balik, okay? Redefine balik. M a retrieve, saya rasa lebih elok kalau kita guna pendekatan 
internal vertex. Okay, so but internal vertex is the vertex with children. Okay, kita kaitkan children tapi hanya apply to internal vertex. Leaf tak payah kita consider. Ha? So, element internal vertex, vertex dengan children, the number of children is not more than m. Satu lagi, number of children is equal to m. Yang ni full array. Ini m array. Itu saja. Hmm. So soalan tadi tu uh, lebih kalau nak saya jawab dengan baik bukannya kepada parent kita yang kita tengok kita tengok kepada internal vertex which is also a parent to be a uh, parent juga by the way Okay ini tak perlu hafal teori ni Dia tak menarik untuk ditanya kecuali yang ni Saya nak fokus dulu kepada tree traversal Tree traversal is how we organize the data. Kita kita nak represent the data. We have three, the pre-order, in order, and also post-order. Okay, this thing also has a relation to prefix. infix and postfix tapi kita kena faham dulu logic pre order in order and post order order okey update dalam nota atau dalam uh, kamu punya nota conteng Ini yang saya simpulkan supaya kamu dapat ingat step lebih mudah. Pre, in order, post order. Order dia. Untuk pre order, you must focus on the root. You go to left and then you go to right. Nanti saya explain balik eh. In order, left root right whereas the post order we start left you go to right and then you back to root okay saya akan start dengan contoh yang kecil so fokus kat saya punya lukisan alah ada Alright. Okay. Suppose this is a tree with A, B, C, D, E. You want to uh, traverse this uh, tree into some orders. Ha? Kita ada tiga jenis, pre-order, in-order dan post-order. Cuba tengok pergerakan saya. Kalau kita mula dengan pre-order dulu. Pre-order, you start at the root. The outermost root, A. So, A dulu. Root, kita bawa keluar A. You go to left. That will be B. Tak, tak payah, tak payah nak mana. A, B. Left, B. Then you move to the right. A, B, D, E. Yang ni semua dah bawa keluar, tinggal C. Okay, saya laju sangat lah. Okay, 
Okey, saya mula balik eh. Konsep pre-order traversal We start at the root So yang keluar daripada root dulu A Untuk contoh kecil saya ni And then we traverse to Left B Daripada A Root Left B Left lagi D Bila dah habis left Baru kita pergi Right E B dah kita lawat A sudah kita lawat Tinggal C So This is the logic of Pre-order Cuba tengok contoh yang panjang kat sini eh Saya pun nak conteng kat sini macam mana eh Sekejap Edit Edit Tak boleh Haa ni dia Alright, saya cuba conteng dekat uh, file pdf Alright This one eh You take out the root first A And then you travel to Left B Alah, ni yang susah ni Okay, A Move forward left Tak boleh lah Bawa keluar A And then we choose B Left Left So A, B, E, J Dan habis left We move to the right which is K Then we proceed to left and O and also B We already finished the left one We go back to the top Go back to the root And we start over again C Saya yeah. tertinggal F Okay, saya balik Saya tertinggal F, saya tak nampak Saya tertinggal F, betul ha. Finish the root kita habiskan kiri, kita bergerak ke kanan Fat F And then kita naik balik, kita ke C Dan kita naik ke root balik, pergi D And then we start the logic all over again Root D Left G L Naik balik, pergi ke right M Dah habis naik lagi Pergi ke H And we left with I So the post uh, The pre-order traversal for this one is given Based on this Final answer Ni contoh yang panjang lah So tengok balik contoh pendek saya tadi A, B, the root first, A to B, to D, left, E, then to C. So, this is the pre-order traversal of the pre-order linear logic. Okay, ada soalan dulu. Dia tak ada soalan lagi selagi tak tak compare dengan in order lagi tau Haa nanti kalau kita dah main dengan order lain Dia jadi lain pula idea kita Okay saya so label balik A, B, C, D and E Okay for the in order Okay in order bahaya sikit eh For the in order, we prioritize the left first So dalam gambar rajah ni, which one is the left, the most left vertex? D. It will be D. D Left, 
Okey, kita dah pilih D eh, tengok eh. Saya lukis se sebaik yang saya boleh lukis. D. We already you already visit left. Then the next priority should be given to the root. Root dia ialah B. So D B when you finish the root then you go to the right. E. So D B E. We finish the left, the root on the right on this sub tree. You travel back to A, which is the uh, root. You prioritize the root. Then you finish with left. So D B E with right. Eh? You finish with right. So the final in order traversal it will be D B E. You go back to A and you finish with C. Yeah, left, root, right. So let's try to apply to a larger scale of the problem. All right. Kita cuba ya. Eh? Idea dia. Uh, left, root, and right. Tadi tak ya. Okay. The left one, J, left, root, E. Some problem will be, kenapa tak pilih K dulu? Kan bila kita turun E, dah finish E ni, we travel to the bottom, but we must prioritize the left first, N. Then you go to root, then K. Ini yang selalu sudah salah, sini. J, you go back to root, E, you don't choose K yet. You must choose the left most vertex first in that particular root, N. Then you choose K, which is the root. Okay, ambil masa nak serap. Ada soalan tak yang ni? Okay, kalau tak ada, saya proceed. J, E, N, K. Then O, then P. Then you finish all the leftmost sub-trees. You travel back to B. Which is the root. And then you go to the right, F. You go back to the top, you finish the root, you finish the C, yeah. Ada C je, tak adalah, cukup lah. Now comes the confusion part, okay. Already A, already C. You don't choose D first. Yang ni, D, jangan. Because D is the root. You must finish the left one first, which is L. And then go back to G. Root, right, M. You travel back to the root and then right. Right. Logic dia senang je tapi kena kena practice. So in order left kita utamakan kiri dulu left you right then you go to the root then you then go to the right. Nanti saya kita buat beberapa latihan. Lepas tu saya suka start yang kecil ni dulu. Okay.
C'est pas Damien Saya lukis balik untuk yang post order pula. Lepas ni kita buat latihan je. Okay, for the post order, the idea will be left, right, then you go to root. Okay, untuk case yang kecil ini, which one is the most left vertex is the But you don't visit the root first, you visit the right first, which is E. Then you go back to the root D. Right now, root is the least priority. Bila saya cakap macam tu, maka A tidak dipilih. D, E, B, you go directly to C. Then you finish at the root A. So pre-order, in-order, then post-order. Okay. Ambil masa untuk digest contoh kecil ni dulu. Beza antara pre-order. We visit the root left, right. In order left, root, right, and the post order, we left, right, and then root. I open to any question within 15 seconds. Okey, cuba kita lihat sekejap contoh panjang untuk post order traversal. Post order. For the post order is left, right and then lastly is the root. Tak detail lah. Okey, root. So, for this one, we choose the left one first. Then E is the root, so not yet. K is the root, still the root, not yet. N first. Left, the right, O, P. Then you go back to root K. To finish the left right, we go back to K, K is the root, go back again to the root E. E right now is the left, right F, root B. So left, finish, A is the root, we go back to C first because left B, right And before B, C, you go decide to choose the D. Don't forget, D is not yet chosen because D is the root. You finish all the leftmost of the D first, L. M, root. Right, right, root. And lastly, root.
Okay, to tell you frankly, at the first time uh, when I learned about uh, tree traversal, I also have some uh, oh, the problem to remember the order, especially the in order. So sometimes uh, uh, for the pre-order, if you realize there is a pattern, pre-order ni uh, Okay, saya campur dengan bahasa Melayu sikit eh, sebab tak nak mengganggu saya punya bayan, okay? Uh, pre-order is like a reading a book. Saya bayangkan, ini macam uh, chapter one. Ni cara saya lah, cara saya nampak logik ni. Chapter one and then saya baca 1.1. 1.1 ni 1.11, 1.12. Ni pre eh, pre-order. Saya bayangkan ni macam buku saya nampak. Ini yang saya nampak lah, pre-order. Untuk post-order pula, time tu, saya nampak pattern dia. All the leaves will be finished first, from the left to right. Because that's the the logic, root ke atas. So, normally dia macam kita habiskan leaf dulu. D, E. And then B, C, A. Dekat batas atas. Ini penjelasan yang tidak saintifik lah, penjelasan yang bukannya mathematical. Ni based on my observation and the logic of the pattern. So as long you can remember the order, that you will be fine actually. But this is the basics eh. In order time tu saya tak dapat nampak pattern dia sangat. Last kali saya kena depend kepada left, root, right juga. Okay. Now to the questions. Kita try jawab soalan pendek ni. Ui kecil kan. Alright. Saya harap boleh nampak eh. Itu A eh paling kiri tu. Cuba jadi uh, pre-order, in-order dan post-order. Dalam masa uh, 3 ke 5 minit, kita cuba jawab sekejap. Nanti saya akan bagi tahu jawapan. Uh, saya besarkan sikit. Saya dah... Okay, tak boleh tengok soalan eh. Ha. Ni yang paling besar. Boleh nampak? Ha, uh, boleh. boleh. Dia pecah. Dia gambar gambar yang copy paste pecah. Alright. Again, pre-order, post-order. Uh, uh, sorry, pre-order, in-order, post-order. Eh? Saya pun akan buat sama-sama dengan kamu sekarang. Kecil sungguh sekejap apa ni? E, F, G, H Apa ni? I H
Aduh. Kalau yang tak dapat lihat jelas tu boleh juga tengok yang dah kamu download nota DSA tu boleh tengok lah. Mungkin lagi jelas lah tapi saya rasa kamu nampak apa yang saya nampak juga sekarang ni. Okey saya dah check jawapan saya. Saya dah siap tadi. Cuma saya kena double check. Ada yang tanya dalam chat ke? Buat dari sungai Muhammad Akram di ABCP Oh ok Ok 2 minit lagi eh Nanti saya share jawapan saya
Okay. I will start writing that. Oh, Musim, the Jews of the other share. Uh, Musim kurang tepat. A, C, A, C. Uh, last dia betul. I, Allah. Mana I? Uh, A, Musim kurang tepat. Eh? Kenapa Musim tak start dengan B dulu? Okay, musim A uh, tak betul eh? Uh, B, saya, saya, saya tersilap saya tak ada B, B tu. Ah, dia B, B eh? B, B, A, C, E, ah, okay betul. F, G, H, I, H, F, G, H, ah, dia salah tag ni, H, I, oh, kena tulis balik eh? E, F, G, H, eh, ah, ada, silap tag. <laughs> Ah, silap tak lagi. Okay tak apa. So saya share jawapan saya ya. Ah, kita tengok balik. Sebab dia contoh yang dalam ni semua terlalu panjang. Mungkin kena bagi contoh yang pendek lepas ni. Ah, jawapan saya adalah ini. For the first one is will be besar sikit. Free ya. Eh? D, B, A, C, E, F, G, H, I, L, G, M, K, N, O, B. For the in order, A, B, C, F, E, G, B, I, H, J, L, K, M, N, O. For the post, A, C, F, G, B, B, I, J, K, N, M, O, B, L, H, T. Sekejap eh, anak saya nangis sekejap Saya buka dulu Okay, ada yang dapat sama saya? Hmm. Sorry eh, anak saya kalau nangis dia dengar, dia nangis kuat. Sama se kecuali post, okay. So Shahzah dia dapat free tu, saya check balik post saya. Boleh uh, Shahzah post jawapan post order? <laughs> Ah, Syazah post kejap bahagian jawapan post order. Saya nak check je. Post, uh, we, we, the idea of post is left, then right, then root. So the root will be the last priority. Ah, Syazah saya sekejap sambil saya check jawapan uh, soalan ni balik. So A C, F, G, E, B. Then I go back to I, J, K, N, M, O, P, L, H, D. <laughs> Kalau tak silap saya, saya check betul dah. Tapi uh, saya nak juga jawapan Syazah, saya nak tengok yang mana yang kamu tersilap logik tu. Yang mesti dia tersalah type. Syazah type jap boleh? Saya nak tengok dia. Kamu macam mana? 
Saya salah sebab root, lepas tu ditambahkanlah sekali So Syazad A, C, B A, C, B Root last kali, yes ha. So the first root tu saya dah nampak dah Left, right, kamu terus ke root Habiskan semua bahagian bawah tu The root should be the last Yes Thank you so much, uh, I think kita wrap up sikit Jadi baca sendiri eh, uh, infix, postfix dengan prefix dan postfix uh, The idea is the similar for the pre-order, in-order dan post-order Okay Boleh baca pelan-pelan tapi selagi tak faham yang pre-order tu tak boleh lah Spending tree tak sempat hari ni Kita akan sambung hari uh, Kamis Okay So hari Kamis ni kita tinggal spending tree dengan sedikit pasal mesin uh, modeling and computation eh So quiz memang kena buat hari uh, Jumaat Okay ada soalan lain sebelum saya uh, tutup kuliah hari ni Jumaat lepas Zohor Haa uh, okay masa eh Kita buat lepas Zohor lah boleh eh Nanti saya type balik maklumat On Ada siapa-siapa yang ada masalah sila private message saya ha, Kalau ayah ada masalah baru private message Kalau soalan berkenaan secara umum boleh tanya dalam tu hmm, Quiz kita buat Lepas Zoho eh Okay quiz topik saya bagi tahu direct lah ha, Tak 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 Syazah Kimi ni aku tembak <laughs> Aku quiz sempat pun tak buat lagi sabar Habis skimi. Okey sabar lah. Saya tengah utamakan kerja-kerja yang kena siap dulu iaitu salah satunya ialah soalan financing korang lah. Kena ubah tu. Dah ubah kena print pula esok uh, lusa. Okey so back to the topic. Quiz empat graph. Focus on the term minologis, basic-basic tu dan agency list, agency matrix dan incidence matrix. Dengar eh? Ni yang cakap saya tak bagi tahu pula Untuk tree Saya akan masukkan pasal uh, terminologis Sedikit dan sedikit pasal uh, Pre-order traversal Pre-order, in-order dengan post-order Tapi quiz hari Jumaat Masa saya cadangkan Adalah pada masa So attendance free lah saya dah tak fikir sangat attendance Free lah hari ni ha, Saya tak, tak update hari ni ha, So Aida attendance free Jumaat kita mula pada pukul dua setengah dijangka habis pukul tiga setengah so let's say lah dua setengah saya up sikit pergi sampai pukul empat ok dua setengah sampai pukul empat kuis empat dengan kuis lima topik graph focus on the terminologies Agency, incidents and also uh, agency and incidents for the trees on the terminologies and also the pre-order, in-order and post-order Boleh eh? Nanti saya type balik semula Saya so, kena susahkan lagi ke soalan final Dia macam ni ya uh, Akram, saya bukan Teknikli saya kena ubah soalan Okay So soalan yang saya pada asal buat tu agak simple tetapi memandangkan ada beberapa perkara segi saya kena tukar soalan so saya dah tak ada idea nak buat soalan so soalan yang saya buat tu dia lebih susah daripada soalan asal itu saja yang saya boleh bagi tahu. Ha. soalan final kamu saya design ada senang medium susah tapi sebab saya kena tukar soalan senang tu jadi dia sedikit susah lah, saya dah tak ada idea dah bila spin-spin balik kan soalan sama kan korang pun boleh baca lah tak 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 bukan soalan kebat uh, soalan direct tapi teori sikit so make sure fundamental korang kuat hmm. ok, fundamental korang kuat tapi uh, insyaAllah semua pas lah hmm. Don't worry Ada cara untuk saya bagi pas Salah satunya assignment ha, Nampak? Ha, bila bila kita buat assignment tu Nampak uh, saya cuba bagi senang ha, Sebab saya boleh speed, saya boleh ubah maka kat situ 
Kalau saya buat soalan macam uh, jawab soalan tu, kalau salah salah. Okey. Alright, saya kena <laughs> Okey, kita sambung kami saya. Eh? Ha, saya uh, jumpa dengan macam ni. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and goodbye. Ya, yeah, sama-sama. Nanti saya share eh. Saya share video eh. Baik sir. Baik sir. Ya, yeah, sama-sama. Kita share video. Stop present, so record.